Well, the track we are on tonight, as you can see from that pan, is very, very big. Tonight we are here in Sedalia, Missouri at the Big Half Mile Missouri State Fair Speedway. This place has very long straightaways and tight corners and no banking at all. But welcome back to today's video. Happy to have you guys for night number five of our Thunder Through the Plains with the All-Stars. Seven races in nine days. It all started at the Lake Ozark Speedway for two nights. Then we went over to Humboldt, Kansas to run a Sunday show. That was night number three. And then for night number four, we were over at the I-70 Motorsports Park. Got involved in a little bit of an incident, but now the 18T is all prepared and ready to go tonight, as I mentioned, at the Missouri, Missouri State Fair Speedway. So we're gonna have qualifying, then an eight lap heat race, then they have a semi feature if need be. I'm thinking we're gonna start gaining cars as we get closer to the Knoxville Raceway this Saturday. With Knoxville Nationals coming up, the car counts are only gonna get increased as more people are gonna be coming to this area of the country. But anyway, like I said, we are gonna be getting our night started. Here's one more look at the racetrack. This place is an old facility. I believe they said this place has been around since 1910. Even all their equipment is old. The fencing, the grandstands, I think they talked about the maximum capacity here being almost 10,000 people. So hopefully a big crowd tonight. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna pull our pill, have a pit meeting, then engine heat and get it all started with qualifying. Well, qualifying is complete here in Sedalia. We have 23 410s running tonight here for the All-Stars, $10,000 on the line. We ended up being the 22nd car to roll out for qualifying, only Casey Kane was behind us, and that was because we pulled the 48 pill out of 50. Uh, we just were not able to take advantage of the track we had. It actually stayed fast through the whole set. I think Casey was second quick, and he was the last car to roll out. So the main thing that I felt is I was winged over down the straightaways, typical. The straightaways are so long here, but by the center of the corner, I felt like I turned in good, but by the center, it almost started falling towards the right side, and then it was just not allowing me to turn through the exit and be able to stay in the grip. And that hurt us a ton because the first lap I entered good and my lap looked solid, but by corner exit, I got in the fluff and then that made me have to lift. Second lap, same thing, just on the opposite end. So we're gonna be starting deep here in a heat race. We just gotta regroup. I'm not sure how this place is gonna race because it is so flat and qualifying stayed one lane just right around the bottom and didn't wind out much. But all we can do is put qualifying behind us, get those couple of laps on a large track because we don't run tracks this size all the time and just continue to try to get better and better and change our setup uh, to you know go with what the car is feeling what I'm feeling in the seat so heat race is going to be up next we are going to be starting eighth here at the Missouri State Fair Speedway
right, well, we got the hood off here of the uh, 18T. The heat race, everyone kind of really just spread out, which is what we were expecting. The racetrack here, it's super wide, but there's not that banking aspect I talked about. So you can't really run, well, I mean, it doesn't obviously get towards the wall. It moved up, but the heat, ra heat races were mainly just single file, and I knew we probably weren't gonna do much passing. So I kind of actually just wanted to get by myself a little bit and try to run eight laps and see if we could make the car better for the A. And we kind of started to spread out, and I was really trying to let the car guide and go where it wanted to go, because at these big tracks, man, you don't want to drive the car as much. You really want to be smooth on the wheels, straight, and I tried to work on all those little aspects of trying to be faster and we just noticed the engine just didn't it, it Bennett even said even talked about being able to hear it a little bit It just doesn't sound to a hundred percent full potential and with this air being so bad here in Missouri That also contributes to it, but also when we came in it was running extremely hot It was almost pegged here on the gauge So we are going to try and change radiators right now And that's gonna be our little last-ditch effort, but if it doesn't run great in the a I'm just gonna run a lap or two and start and park uh, just because we do not want to hurt this engine but that could also contribute to why in qualifying it almost is getting tight because it doesn't have all that power pretty much what I noticed even a little bit there in the heat race after we made changes added stagger and tried to get the car off the right rear is when it kind of gets into the crap towards the middle part of the racetrack the darker stuff it just still kind of falls and gets tight so that's a little unusual for a 410 we usually don't have that problem because they have so much power they just stand up the right rear but we're going to change radiators pull this thing off and then see if we can find anything um, going forward into the A. So we got our spare radiator from upstairs and why I talked about how this is so important is because when these engines get too hot they don't run as well and that's what we talked about it affects the handling of the car obviously when you're down on power against these guys you are just going to get driven away from so we're going to put this one in and see if it makes any difference uh, in the A going forward we'd like to try to figure this issue out obviously so it doesn't affect the rest of our trip so we're gonna wait for that one to cool down. My dad's just taking some of those fittings off, getting some of those lines disconnected, and then we're gonna drop this one in. Should be a quick one. Well, the non-wing guys are just out there right now. There's just a couple of them, so that A is gonna fly by pretty quickly. Uh, we start deep. I think we actually start last. Uh, hopefully we fix our overheating issue. That is very important. If it gets hot again midway through the race or early on, I'm gonna pull into the infield because that's just much smarter. There's no reason to just run this engine into the ground. Uh, we have been having a little bit of problems tonight and that's obviously hindered us, but maybe by switching the radiator that might have fixed something. So we're rolling off deep, racetrack is still pretty fast, I think that there's going to be more on top than the bottom, that's just kind of how this place has been racing, but with a lot of us out there it could typically change if we do make it towards the end of the A. I need all the laps I can get so it's important that hopefully everything goes correctly. We're going to head out.
Well, tonight here in Sedalia, Missouri at the Missouri State Fair Speedway absolutely flew by. It almost felt like a blur, and that's how a lot of these all-star shows feel like because they run such a quick operation. We have pit meeting, get right into engine heat, then hot laps, qualifying. Heat races are literally minutes after qualifying is over. Then we have a little bit of time if you don't make the redraw, and then if they have a semi-feature, and then the A main event, and just like that, the night is complete. So I know I talked to you guys, but I almost forget a lot that I mentioned throughout the night just because it's so quick I pick up the camera for 60 seconds and then we're right in the race car. I feel like for it being a fair track and a fair facility uh, actually what we had towards the end of the A main event and through the middle part of the feature and even the beginning was about as good as it could have possibly got here at the speedway. A little bit down low if you could run down there but a lot of guys were literally just sending it in wide open on the top and it didn't really develop a curb. You can see it's really just a lot of fluff that is built up throughout the night as cars start to run higher and higher. And I rolled off dead last we struggled all night it seemed like we were having a little bit of engine issues we switched radiators right there before the a and when I got out there the engine seemed really really happy I was constantly watching my gauges for the first couple of laps to see if it was getting too hot and it was around 240 maybe 250 but I kept on running and then under that first yellow maybe it was 10 or 15 laps into the race or one of those yellows it got towards 260 and I was debating on if maybe I should pull in or not and then actually I ended up getting a flat tire but before that green the reason I didn't really want to pull in is because the car felt good and the engine seemed like it was running just fine we were really ripping right around the high side I felt like I was keeping the car straight I was able to drive in hard wing over and it wasn't pushing over on the right rear at all like it was earlier and getting tight it would just stay stood up and then actually roll through the corner well and I got a great taste of clean air and dirty air I would catch up to someone and almost stall out because you, if you get too close you get in that dirty air but then maybe you're able to catch back up and make moves now on exit of both corners it developed more of a cushion than through the center and it really started to push up here specifically on exit of four like I mentioned I worked this early on in the race I probably passed three or four cars and I just was trying to work on being a little bit better each time I went by then I got a flat on that restart and I was gonna pull in because the engine was running a little hot and I figured you know between those two I didn't want to cause my own yellow well we ended up getting a red flag you guys saw that we put a new right rear on put a new left rear on I guess I shouldn't say new just the ones are spares so there they had both already been ran but I got back out there and then our next dilemma came up actually the rod end on the wing slider on the wing ram it actually backed out so I lost a wing slider I was moving the valve back and forth trying to move the wheel and it was not moving at all it got stuck all the way forward and then actually when we gas it up under green it would start moving back and get all the way in the trunk my crew and everyone in the infield if they watched me probably thought I was going bonkers because literally I'd start with it all the way forward then all of a sudden going into one it's all the way back then on exit it's going back forward and get stuck in the middle and I'm trying to watch it under the yellow to see what's going on see where my wings at to determine where I'm gonna run because when it started going back I couldn't enter on the top because I'd get way too tight so I try to roll the slick and then catch it on exit it was a complete mess and it only got worse throughout the last 10 laps but eventually I just moved down low because it got stuck in the trunk and it actually wasn't bad I passed a car or two I think we started 23rd and ended up coming home 15th plus eight one spot away from being hard charger so that was nuts I've never had that happen before but I think if there was a blessing for tonight it was that we were able to run all those laps and have a situation like that happen because it's going to be more valuable now in the future if that ever happens again how I can take on a situation like that may seem crazy but that's how I look at it especially when we're running in the back it's not like we're competing for a win we're trying to get better and better run with the all-stars all this experience is so valuable but Sedalia Missouri it was a lot of fun we are on to the 34 raceway tomorrow I just got to give a huge shout out to my crew Bennett Roger Carly my dad mom Carissa those guys work so hard everyone has their own role on the team and then also all my sponsors next gen def carson oil lafarge pit stop usa oma ktm qrc fast Four media abc powder coating earth environmental on-site screeners durango rv swindell speed lab ferguson and everyone that helps out and all you fans for watching one more situation to address this track tonight and half miles in general are very hard on tires that's why mine went flat a lot of other guys had issues it just completely blistered our right rears blistered our left rears and that's why you saw so much tire trouble so that's another thing we got to learn not only with dirty air at these big racetracks but a lot of them are hard on tires and equipment so you almost have to conserve at certain parts in the race and find that limit of how hard to run but also make it to the end especially as we start running farther and farther up front see you guys all in the next one thank you for joining me tonight in Sedalia Missouri at the Missouri State Fair Speedway deuces